This YCN segment is brought to you by Bubba's Bar and Grill on Lake Sunapee in Newberry Harbor. Welcome back. YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerheide, and we move over to the MLB playoffs Tuesday night. The New York Yankees clinching the wild card game over the Minnesota Twins uh, in a game that the Twins looked like uh, they had some firepower early, but yeah. uh, that offense for the Yankees is just such a force. We'll get into that a little bit as they face the Indians in the first round, but I mean, that game last night looked close for a while, then the Yankees just blew it open. Yeah, I mean, when I when I heard uh, that Severino was pulled not even after throwing one inning yep. in the wild card game, I mean, at Yankee Stadium in front of those home fans, yep. I mean, the only thing was really if um, the Twins pitcher um, yeah, Santana, Santana, Santana could calm down and get some outs, but they quickly tied the game, quickly took the lead back and uh, did it with a vengeance. And those home runs, I mean, especially – at Yankee Stadium, a small park like yeah. that with the power bats they have, especially Judge. I mean, that team is scary. Uh, and, I mean, they're looking like one of the one of the better teams yeah. in the playoffs right now. Well, they're one of those teams that if they, you know, catch a game on the road and they yeah. get a guy on an off day, Kluber mm -hmm. or Bauer or something, right. anything can happen. So getting over to the Red Sox, clinching mm -hmm. division, second time in two years, back-to-back, uh, -back, and that's the first time they've done that in, in uh, their franchise history, which yeah. is good news. I know everyone man. says... It's the playoffs. It doesn't matter. you got to win the World Series. But you know what? I give them credit for it. It's a, it's a grind. It's a long yeah. season. Now here's where the hard part starts. But it's such a small series. I mean, you get five games to prove. You get cold for a few games or you get yeah. hot, and somebody could come out victorious who really doesn't deserve to be. Yeah. Uh, what's some keys maybe for this series? Obviously, Chris Sale starting game one. That's going to be a big one. Yeah, I think uh, the Red Sox are going to win these games from the mound. I yeah. think um, it, their pitching has been their strength all season, uh, whether it's their starting pitching or bullpen. Um, I mean, I, these young bats, they're also going to have to come through, but I think their pitching is going gonna, is gonna to be the main thing, and, and really stopping these Astros, that batting lineup is, is right, yeah. really, really good, and that's going to be tough to shut down. I mean, well, we saw Drew Pomeranz do a really good job of that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Chris Sale has faced the Astros this season. Right, he, um, might, not, he might have missed them in the time right. back in Houston. Yeah, so, I mean, if Chris Sale can have a really good start, uh, on tomorrow, I mean, that could be right. huge. Right, that's a huge jump start because yeah. you win one game, you get some, you know, some goodwill, some momentum, whatever, right. feeling good, yep. and you take home field advantage back. You know, the biggest thing I'm going to look for is game two against Dallas Keuchel, mm -hmm. who uh, doesn't have a lot of experience in the playoffs either, right. and he's a lefty, so you've got, you know, Mookie Betts maybe be able to get yeah. something. Xander Bogarts, yep. who had a terrible postseason last year, you've got to yeah. really get him bounced back. Ben Intendi, who was new last year, he'd only been up for a couple weeks right. or six weeks or a couple months, whatever. He had a home run last year in the playoffs, so obviously didn't help. But, right. uh, you know, the, and the other thing is John Farrell, quick hook. You know, if Drew Pomeranz yeah. is showing problems in the third or fourth inning, that bullpen is, I think it's the best in the league. you yeah. got to get him in. Yeah, I agree, and I think um, David Price is a right. really yeah. good um, kind of long reliever option who's going to be the backup plan for any of these starters, and I really think – like you saw last night, I mean, I know it was the wild card game, but um, Girardi taking out Severino right. after just, what was it, one or two outs? A third of an inning, yeah, yeah one just out. Just one out. Yep. So, I mean, that's tough to do as a manager, but I think John Farrell's going to have to do it. Um, right. I don't think we can afford to see Chris Sale implode like he has a few times this season. Um, if he starts to get shaky and if, he, if he's walking guys, that's really when we right. know it's not a good start, when he's walking guys early on. If that's happening, I think you put David Price in quickly. But this right. team has a totally different feel than last year's team. Yep. I remember last year when they clinched the AL East. Right. That was on a walk-off loss against right. the, the Yankees. Yankees. And you're right. like, well, this doesn't feel like we just won the AL East. But when they did it this year, right. everyone was happy. There was a big celebration. It was at Fenway. Right. They finally did it. And with this team, you know, losing Big Poppy and replacing him with Chris Sale and with the pitching, it's a different team. If the pitching can be as good as they have been right. this season, That's the thing. they have a really good chance to win these games. I think the Astros are the better team, especially with their lineup. It's a much better batting lineup. Right. Uh, yes. But if the pitching can hold up, the Red Sox are going to have a chance. Yeah, I think they get as good of a chance as anyone. Like yeah. you said, I mean, the Astros can, can go cold. Right. Red Sox bullpen coming in some key spots and see yeah. what happens. So quickly, uh, Yankees-Indians. I do think the Yankees yeah. might give them a shot, but the Indians are just so good. Yeah. Uh, Corey Kluber, I know that's kind of a weird decision to start him in game two instead right. of game one. Yep. But uh, Francona's been there. He knows what he's doing. 
I'm going to take sure. the Indians in that series. I think it's Indians, and you know, I'll give the Red Sox a shot to beat the Astros. Indians and uh, Red Sox in the ALCS. Yeah, to me, I think uh, Red Sox-Astros is kind of a wash. Astros, better offense. Red Sox, better pitching. Yeah. But uh, with the Indies, the Indians are a complete team. They have the pitching. They have the bats. It's going to be tough for the Yankees to win that one. Yankees, they have the bats. If they can get to the pitching, I think they can do it, and their bullpen's pretty solid. But to me, I think it's going to be Indians and let's say let's say Red Sox. All right, there we go. We got them on the hometown team. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll talk some NL, and then we'll make our World Series picks as well. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.